the opportunity for for females to do what we love and to not be held back from that, I think uh, is to sort of define how I look at the opportunity and, and how it's related to me. Back home in Australia, this doesn't exist. Title IX and what it's helped create in U.S. college athletics is the not-so-gentle tug that has kept Michigan women's lacrosse coach Hannah Nielsen stateside. I've thought about moving home countless amount of times, but the, the thought that comes to my mind is what would I do there? You know, I'm very, very lucky to coach the sport that I love. You know, if I go home, I have to find another job. I, you know, if I'm involved in lacrosse, it's at a very volunteer level. Uh, you know, you're, everyone who's involved in the game is, and, and not just lacrosse, in other sports, is, is on a volunteer basis. Nielsen took to sports at a young age and learned the games she loved in modest surroundings. I grew up on playing on a patch of grass, essentially, and, and if, you, if I could find one lacrosse ball, uh, I'd hang on to it with dear life and write my name on it because you couldn't find them, you couldn't buy them back home. Hannah was a star player at Northwestern, leading the Wildcats to four consecutive national titles and twice winning National Player of the Year honors. She recalls the pleasant surprise when she first arrived in the United States. And so when you came here and you had unlimited access to sticks and balls and field space and goals and other people to play catch with, you know, I think it, for me it was just this wow factor of, oh my God, we, we have access to all of this. A consistent theme during our conversation was gratitude with one caveat. I feel fortunate, but I also feel like it's right uh, and, the, and the right thing. You know, if you look down at the other facilities, you know, it's, it's equal and in line with the other sports, both men and women. And I think that is, you know, I don't want to use the word fortunate or lucky. I think that's right. Like the other younger generation coaches at Michigan, Hannah is keenly aware of the resources that surround her. She mentioned that earlier. But I'm not talking about training facilities or equipment. I'm talking about people, the people who came before her. People like Hutch and Marsha and the, the experienced women's coaches here uh, and, and experienced women's coaches just in my field in general in lacrosse have been really instrumental in opening my eyes up to, yes, this is great. Um, but we need more. Among the goals of those in women's athletics is an increase in female decision makers. Hannah staunchly believes their leadership and clout will pave the way forward. You know, it's on us as female coaches to keep pushing. It's on athletic departments to keep hiring uh, strong females um, and, and females in, in administration to, to bring to light um, just what we have to go through as, as female athletes. The phrase, there's more work to be done, often feels like an echo chamber. But with the energy of young leaders like Nielsen, the future is ambitious and luminous. How do we normalize getting things to a level playing field and, and getting both men and women what they deserve and, and to pushing the envelope as, as a female athlete and a female coach and to really guide and mentor and educate our, our younger um, generations of, of younger females on how they can really demand what they um, what they deserve to push for what's next I think is the really exciting part. Can't, can't get the smile off my face all right it was a very special moment for me uh, but it's all because of you guys. You know you can only hope that my players feel as, as they leave that that I've mentored them in some way and and you know maybe they stay in athletics or maybe they go in and crush a different prof profession but to have you know somebody that's um, sharing and what they're going through, I think, ultimately is, is extremely important. For MGO Blue TV, I'm Ed Kingerski.